you're trying to do. You're trying to take the princess. You're trying to kidnap what I rightfully stolen. Let me explain. Perhaps an arrangement can be reached. There will be no arrangement. But if there can be no arrangement, we are at an impasse. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically, <coughs> but you're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato? Aristotle? Socrates? Yes. Morons? Really? In that case, I challenge you to the battle of wits. For the princess? Mm-hmm. To the death? Mm-hmm. I accept. Good. Then pour the wine. <coughs> Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. Which you don't smell is called iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, and dissolves instantly in liquid. It is among the more deadlier poisons known to man. All right, where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide if you fill the drink and find out who is right and who is dead. But it all depends on what kind of man you are. Are you the sort of man that would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach what he was given. I am not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. But you must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it. So I clearly not choose the wine in front of you. So you've made your decision then? Not remotely, because I came comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely filled with criminals. And criminals are used to having people not trust them, as you are not trusted by me. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly you have a dismal intellect. Wait till I get going! Where was I? <laughs> Australia. Yes, Australia. And you must have suspected I didn't know I knew the powder's origin. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're the stolen now. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> now, you've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison into your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my standard, which means you must have studied. And in studying, you must have learned that man is mortal. So you would have put the poison as far from yourself as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving something away. It won't work. It has worked. You've given everything away. I know where the poison is. Then make your choice. I will, and I choose. What in the world could that be? What? Wait, I don't see anything. Oh, I could have sworn I saw something. No matter. What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my glass and you from yours. <coughs> You guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched glasses when your back was turned. You fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia. Only slightly less well known is this. Never going against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Last few years building my immune system to iodine powder. <laughs> <laughs>